students how are you all welcome to your english class today we are going to discuss about the poem teachers this is written by tasneem hosain in this poem we will read about girls with big dreams and aspirations in spite of their limited resources we will study similes and metaphors in detail and we will also write a notice this poem is written by tansim hosain lives in australia when she was a teenager she visited her hometown in bangladesh there she met a lot of young girls at primary school she realized that the girls even though very poor were very strong determined and powerful in their own right the poem recounts her visit to the school the poet believes that education is one of the most effective routes out of poverty of girls in developing world let's read the poem a hometown long left behind in a country almost foreign now where sounds are louder and colors are brighter and voices clamor and surround listen to those dreams burning like rubbish in dead and streams streets whispering like smoke blown on the breeze talk to the children walk into a school surrounded by clogged canals and angles of alleys the girls with a little money get to see little further get to dream a little bigger doctor dentist maybe lawyer so here the poet she is discussing about her hometown which she has left long back that is bangladesh her country now she is living in australia so bangladesh is like a foreign country to her now she is recalling the time of the school and she has visited that school again and she is thinking about everything the colors are brighter the sounds are louder and there are dreams which girls are having but those dreams they burn like rubbish in the dead end streams dead end streets means the passage from which no exit is possible there is no end they can just dream but they cannot be fulfilled the girls they have little money but they are dreaming further to become big they want to become a doctor a dentist a lawyer after studies the others the ones who can't afford uniforms but at least they still make it to the school through the struggle and shame teetering on that one good track the daughters of milk walas rickshaw walas and the man who hawks sports on his back all these girls want to be every last one teachers teachers so she is discussing that they are even too poor to afford uniforms but still they anyhow manage to come to the school lots of struggles lots of shames are faced by them they are the daughters of poor people like milk walas rickshaw walas the persons those who are doing labor or task and others they are daughters and they want to become something in life they want the teachers to teach them what it means to strive and work and hope in tin roofed rooms at kerosene stoves they are burning midnight oils they are using kerosene stoves and uh, they are having tin roofed homes not even pakka house they have and they are working hard raise your seven little siblings at the age of eight be told that your lot in life is your fate they are being taught that whatever quality of life you are living it is your luck it is your fate so you have to go through that and want more than the dregs of living in this place how your mind takes flight at the sight of the school gate whenever they see the school gate 
their mind just flows away they just dream and drive during that wardrobe stores to a narnia of everyday magic like arithmetic and letters the only place you see women like you will be the own we one day stand tall and straight women who fling wide those doors who are heard and seen who don't get married off at 15 dream girls dream of a better life a wife is not the only thing you can be the girls this is a common ritual there that the girls are married at the age of 15 but those who are studying they struggle and they uh, do not get married just and they are uh, the writer is saying that the girls are not only meant to be ma- married and become a wife they are having lots of options uh, like they can get proper study and they can be the doctors lawyers dentists and make themselves uh move ahead in life so becoming wife is the not is the not the only one fate that the women are having a wa- go to the leader the keeper and the dream driver seeker go go be teachers teach us because we don't know what triumph means they are saying that the teachers please teach us we actually don't know what the achievement means we want to learn lot in life we are having so many dreams despite of poverty despite of lack of resources we want to become something in life we don't want that our life should just end up in getting married and becoming the wife but we want to be something in life we want to grow ourselves we are having so many dreams and we want to fulfill them this is the voice of the poor girls at school which the poet is discussing if you have any doubt any query you can drop on google class thank you shen stars take care all of you